Hey everybody, this is Jessica Cabasi, and I'm going to be showing you guys how I get the sunlit effect from a backlit image. And I'm using this image as a reference because I really like how it came out and it was really hard to get because I had to actually manually focus. Because when you're shooting behind the sun, um, it's really hard for a lens to focus. At least I was using an 85 millimeter. So it was very difficult. So manually focusing this and, you know, I'm going to show you guys actually the original so you guys can see what I started with. And then with my coloring and editing, I ended up with this. So I'm just going to go through every layer so you guys can kind of see what I'm adding and exactly how this came about. So for the first layer I like to add is the curves layer. You can tell that this is immediate difference. So let's just open up this curve layer. Um, RGB, I changed it up a bit, added some more contrast to the picture. Red, I didn't really add too much. The blue, I'm going to toggle this for you guys so you guys can see. So I'm adding a little bit of blue, so you guys can tell. So that's the blue layer. If we go on to the green, I, never, I did not add anything to the green. So the curves layer was just to add some contrast and make the colors pop a little. So let's uh, go on to the vibrance. This obviously makes the picture more vibrant in color, which I enjoy. So, I mean, I go crazy with vibrance. I There's no stopping me. If this was a jewelry store, I'd rob it all. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I added a, a 58 vibrance. I usually don't use saturation because saturation generally just doesn't turn out good for me. So, vibrance is what I use. And... To get that sunlit effect, I usually add a gradient fill layer, and this is a black, it's just a radial fill here, I'll show you guys how it looks. This is normal opacity, so basically, this is how it looks. So it just darkens the edges of the photo, and this is set to overlay. And this one right here is also, I just copied it and I made another duplicate of the layer and I put it to overlay. So this is one way to, to kind of make your images pop out more. So I'm actually going to take another picture and do the same thing, but a different image. I believe it was this one. Well, let's just open this one up. And again, manually focusing is the devil. It's, it's so hard <laughs> just to get everything in focus. You really have to tell the model to just stand still for a couple minutes. Um, realistically, you could do this in RAW, but I don't know, I'm just stubborn and I, I like to actually edit it in Photoshop because I, I just make things harder myself, but uh, me and Photoshop spend a lot of time together, so now, again, we're going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and we're going to add some contrast. So you can immediately just tell the big difference right there. And again, I'm not, I'm just doing this totally. I did not plan this, what I'm going to use. So what you see is completely live. <laughs> I should have my own show, shouldn't I? Okay, there we go. I'm going to go up to blue. Drag that up a little. Just adding in some color. And you can just literally, do, you look, like, if you drag this down, you can add more yellow. I wouldn't really recommend making it that yellow, but... Just really, just get creative with your picture. This is your photo, this is your style, so... Just get creative. Let's go on over to... Um... Vibrance. It's right there. Just gonna up the vibrance. And then... I'm going to show you guys how to get that gradient, wherever it is. Okay, I've used this for how long? I can't even find it. Okay. Go to layers and just go to this little thing right here where it says gradient. And obviously you want the color to be black. Okay, everything's going wrong. So you want the color to be black. And you're going to see some little trail of that. You really don't want that, so just... Put it all to black. 
Okay, and then you're going to change the style to radial. It's going to make a big circle. What you want is the opposite of that, so go ahead and press reverse. And then let's up the scale so it covers more of the edges. Then press OK. And then you're going to put this to, you can put this to, I'm just going to put it to soft light. So let's just see the difference. So even just doing this by itself, makes a huge difference. And I'm just going to go one step further. I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer. I'm going to have my color set to um, a brighter orange. Let's set this layer to screen. And let's just go ahead. I'm going to play with the opacity here. And you can just softly, just add that softly at the brush. <laughs> I sound so hipster. Okay, so we're just going to add this brush right here. And what I'm doing is I'm just making it look like the sun was, I don't know, elegantly cascading onto the picture. I'm just going to be really poetic right now. So it's just adding a little bit more color, making the picture look a little bit more like the sun was out. Because when it's backlit, it's just hard to get a colorful image. At least for me, anyways. I want to just be careful around the face area. So let me show you the befores and afters of this. I'm going to add some. And again, this is 88% and 0% hardness. And then I'm going to make another layer. And I'm going to set it to overlay. I'm just going to kind of go around some of these edges to add a little tiny bit of color. And then we're going to just lower the opacity on this because it's getting a little crazy. So again, whenever you know you want to add some like a sun burst of sunlight in your picture, that's one way to go. Another way is you can use the gradient fill like I just showed you. You can go ahead and go to gradients not pattern. You can go to gradients, go to radial, and look how nice that looks. Literally just stick it anywhere you want, like right here. Press OK. Set this whole layer to, let's say, overlay. And OK, say you don't want it there. Double, Just double click on this layer and move it around wherever you want. And that way you can actually see where it looks best. So if I wanted to put it right there, that looks kind of nice. And then if you want to just change that layer to screen, screen and overlay are great for this. Go right here. So again, there are two ways to do this. You can do it using a brush or you can use the gradient fill. Personally, either, either one really works. Um, gradient fills, fills are a little easier because you have more control over them. Um, um, brushes, that's just something that I do. I think I'm like one of like two people who do this. Actually, what, what do you mean one of two? One of like 20,000 people who do this. You can also change this to soft light. And you can change up the colors. You don't have to do an orange. If you have, if wherever you live, if you have a green sun, go ahead, add some green in there too. So let's just again see the before and after back. Before we do that, I'm just going to add in a tiny bit of color right there. You can even add it like right here. It's all about your personal style, I guess. So we have that right here. Oh, what am I doing? I'm like using the wrong layer. Okay. And so let's see the before and after. And let's just add a tiny bit more contrast to that. Using your curves layer, just bring it down a little. There it is. And to sharpen this, let's just bring that down a little. If you want to sharpen this, one way I sharpen my images, it's a really handy trick. 
I'm just literally copying and pasting it. I'm not doing anything special, guys. I go to filter. I make a duplicate of the layer right here. And then I go to filter, other, high pass. So it's actually just going to outline your image. And let's just make it a little closer. Let's set the radius to about 3.1. And then you're going to set this layer to soft light. So I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see the difference. So it literally only sharpens those edges that you selected, which is nice. So there you have it. That is how you can transform and add more sunlight to your pictures. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please recommend or suggest any. I love to take requests and... I try as often as possible to make tutorials that benefit everyone. So if you have requests, um, you know, ask me on Instagram, it's slash Jessica Cabasi, or Facebook. Facebook, it's the same as YouTube, it's Jessica K Photo. So go ahead and suggest anything that you want to learn, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something.